In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the setup of your Epson printer with the Windows laptop. So first we will connect the printer with the Wi-Fi network and then we will add drivers in our Windows laptop. Go to the printer control panel, scroll ahead and look for the setting. Select general settings, network settings, Wi-Fi setup. Wi-Fi recommended, change settings, we can use the two methods WPS and Wi-Fi setup wizard, so I'm just going to use the easiest one that is Wi-Fi setup wizard. Select your Wi-Fi network, enter its password and then press OK to apply. Printer is connected to the Wi-Fi network. Click on the close. Press the home button. If you want, you can participate in the customer research or you can reject it. Go to the web browser. Go to the web browser, type in Epson Workforce Driver. Scroll down and select the Epson Workforce Printer select the Epson website you will see your printer scroll down from this box you have to select your operating system and click on the go scroll down it will show up the drivers and utility combo package installer click on the download open file yes ok that's the download window accept terms and conditions if you want you can just select the uses information or you can deselect it click next Click next. On this screen you have to select your printer and click next. Click on the install software. Let's print a test page. Click on the next. Click on the next. Agree for the download so that will download the update. Click next and click on the start. Click on the finish. You can skip it if you want. Click on the finish. Close all the windows. Now we can start using it for printing and scanning. For example, if you want to do the scanning, you just have to type in Epson scan smart on this screen you have to change the printer so click on the change select Epson workforce 3820 series press ok let's scan a page we can use the top document feeder tray or we can also use the scanner bed click on the scan scan is transferred you can click on the save or share and it should be showing up here and you can just give a name to this document so this way we can scan with this printer So that is saved to the desktop. So this way we can do the setup of this printer with the Windows laptop and then we can start using it. In the same way you can do it with the Macbook. You just have to download the drivers and it works exactly same way. Thanks for watching.